Hujambo msikilizaji na tumai ubuheri wa afya popote pale ulipo. Karibu kwenye habari zetu za Borana Global Media na kama ilivyo ada na desturi kwanza kabisa tupate vidokezo vyake. Waziri Ada Ndwali akutana na wanajeshi kutatua mzozo wa ardhi isiolo. Muungano wa wake wa magavana waangazia juhudi za kumlinda mtoto wa kike katika kaunti ya Marsabit. Matokeo ya KCP na Kepsia tatolewa kabla ya Christmas asema katibu Belio Kipsang. SDR yapandisha nauli Nairobi hadi Mombasa kuanzia Januari. Tupati habari hizo na zingine kwa ukamilifu. Langu jina ni Hadija Liban. Na tukianza na taarifa zetu ni kwamba waziri katika Wizara ya Ulinzi Adan Dwale aliongoza kikundi cha maafisa wakuu wa kijeshi katika mkutano na viongozi waliochaguliwa wa kaunti ya Isiolo katika afisi ya gavana wa kaunti hiyo Abdi Guyo kwa lengo la kutatua mzozo wa muda mrefu kati ya chuo cha wanajeshi la ulinzi na wakazi wa wadi ya Burat. Wanajeshi hao wanalenga kuwafurusha kwa nguvu zaidi ya wakazi 1200 wanaoishi katika mtu wa Lewa na mtu wa Isiolo huku wakipa nua kituo chao cha mafunzo akiwahutubia wanahabari nje ya afisi ya gavana wa kaunti ya Isiolo baada ya mkutano wao wa faraga Dwale amesema kuwa wakazi wa Isiolo wameishi na wanajeshi wa KDF tangu mwaka elfu moja kenda mia themanini kwa hivyo uhusiano mzuri lazima uruhusiwe kuendelea kupitia utatuzi wa kirafiki wa mgogoro huo land air and sea so There is no way the people of Isiolo will have an issue with Kenya Defence Forces. They have been our host, we have lived with them for 30 years. So we have agreed with the with the with the governor we are going to have a series of meetings and we will resolve all our standing issues. And I want to assure Isiolo people that uh, the peaceful coexistence between ourselves and the KDF will continue. We know the important uh, security matter which the KDF undertakes and we appreciate their work. For that I want to assure the KDF that uh, Isiolo people will not have issues with you. The small matter between ourselves and them will be solved through dialogue and I hope soon in the next few months uh, the issue of uh, Burat will be resolved uh, amicably. Thanks. Na tukiacha na hayo ni kwamba muungano wa wake wa magavana walizuru katika kaunti ya Marsabit kuangazia juhudi za kulinda haki za mtoto wa kike dhidi ya madhila mbalimbali. Mke wa gavana wa kaunti ya Marsabit Alamitu Guyo aliwaongoza wenzake akisisitiza hoja wa kumlinda mtoto wa kike dhidi ya dhulma za kijinsia. Akizungumza katika kaunti ya Marsabit, alisema asilimia sitini ya watoto wa kike katika kaunti ya Marsabit huacha shule ili kuolewa wakati kuna wengine asilimia tisini waliokeketwa. Wake hao wa magavana wametoa onyo kwa wanaoendeleza dhulma dhidi ya watoto wa kike katika eneo pana hilo la kaskazini mashariki ya Kenya kwamba dhulma nyingi huanzia wakati wa kuzaliwa support girls leadership and advocacy on issues for menstrual health to discriminatory gender norms and to recognize that providing meaningful support to girls upholds their right improves their well-being and increases their ability to contribute to a better world in our county We know that early marriage is still rampant with up to 60% of Marsabit girls dropping out of school to get married or help in domestic labor. We know it to know that that a standing up for girls will help guarantee their well-being and their rights to education, health and equal opportunities. We stand up against harmful practices such as the FGM and child marriage as a key barbaric and demeaning. If effectively supported and educated, girls have the potential to change the world, both as empowered girls of today as tomorrow's workers, entrepreneurs, mentors, household heads, political leaders and mothers. An empowered and educated girl is a better human, a better wife, a better mom. Na kwingine kwa ni kwamba katibu wa kudumu wa elimu Belio Kipsang ametangaza kuwa wataeniwa waliofanya mtihani ya cheti cha elimu ya msingi wa Kenya KCPE na elimu ya shule ya msingi ya Kenya Kipshea watapokea matokeo yao kabla ya sherehe za Krismasi. Alisema haya siku ya jana alipokuwa akitoa taarifa kuhusu zoezi la mtihani wa kitaifa ambapo washikadao wanaohusika kwa kufanyika zoezi hilo. Kipsanga alisisitiza kuwa zoezi la kuweka alama linaanza mara moja na kupewa kipaumbele kuhakikisha zoezi la kusaidisha 
linakamilika kwa muda unaofaa. Kundi la mwaka huu lilikuwa la mwisho kufanya KCPE ili kuandaa njia ya utekelezaji kamili wa mtaala unaozingatia umahiri CBC katika shule za msingi ambao sasa utashuhudia wanafunzi wakifanya mtihani ya kipsia. Na kwingineko ni kwamba kutokana na ongezeko la ukosefu wa nafasi za ajira nchini na kulazimu vijana wengi waliomaliza shule kukosa ajira Serikali kupitia mpango wa ajira digito imefungua mlango yake kwa vijana wa Kakuma eneo bunge la Turkana Kusini ambapo vijana kutoka kambi ya wakimbizi wa Kakuma huja na kuenda mafunzo wa kidijitali bila malipo. Josephat Emuri ya meneja wa kituo cha ajira anasema kufikia sasa wamewapa mafunzo vijana zaidi ya mbili na jinsi ya kutumia mitandao kufanya kazi ugaibuni na pia jinsi ya kunadi bidhaa kupitia mitandao. On a weekly basis I hand like three k a week um, when i open canvas i do i do like uh, annotation i do like uh, creating just making things creative in the in the in the online ajira inapeana skills bure hakuna kulipa enye maybe changamoto ni hiyo fair kutoka penye huko mpaka hapa lakini kila kitu ni free ukikuja hapo ukitaka hata kuingia online au kufanya kitu yako unakuja unakaa unapata laptop hapa na laptop pia ukiko na unaingia online yako mpaka mataimu yako yenye unataka kurudi unaenda we've been partnering with a number of collaborators and institutions in the refugee camp we've been moving to the refugee camp to train the youth from the refugee camp and um, youth from the host community we understand we have um, a myriad of challenges around this place um, beginning from um, um, illiteracy point and uh, we always encourage everybody to come train with us na tukitamatisha habari zetu ni kwamba kampuni ya Kenya Railways imeongeza nauli katika maeneo yote inayohudumu kwa asilimia hamsini. Katika hakiki ya hivi punde, abiria wa Mombasa sasa watalipa shilingi 1500 kuanzia Januari tarehe moja mwaka ujao kutoka shilingi elfu moja ya sasa. Tikiti zilizonunuliwa kabla ya wakati huo hata hivyo hazitaadhirika. Kwa wale wanaotaka kusafiri na daraja la kwanza watalazimika kulipa shilingi elfu inne mia tano kutoka shilingi elfu tatu. Nauli kutoka Kibwezi hadi Mombasa itagarimu shilingi mia nane tisini huku Voi hadi Mombasa ikigarimu shilingi mia inne arobaini. Bei hizo ziliorodheshwa upya kwa huduma ya abiria wa Madaraka Express, huduma ya reli ya Nairobi commuter treni ya safari ya Kisumu na treni ya safari ya Nanyuki. Kufikia hapo sina budi la kuhitimisha habari zetu za Borana Global Media. Habari hizi na zingine utaandaliwa tu papa hapa. Nimekuwa msomaji wako Hadija Liban. Zidi kumakinika.